Hello my lovely ravens, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chantelle and today we're creating a creature from the Jim Henson movie Turkey Hollow. Let's get started. Let's start with some materials that I'm using. I am taking the basics of this Fame Maker book. Then I have some faux fur here. This is a blanket, but you can also get faux fur just at a craft store. I will leave everything in the description box below. You can get it either on Amazon or on AliExpress, depending on what you want. I do have some needle felting supplies here as well. And I have some beads that are made from a certain gemstone that you can put in the oven because it's stone. I have armature wires, a, um, well, needle felting needle or needles in that tool and some floral tape. But instead of floral tape, I will be using batting that I've cut up in strips. So let's get started. I'm starting with making the armature from this 3 mil thick armature wire. Um, the book called for that and the pattern that you see in the background on the white sheet is basically what they tell you to make these creatures that are in the book how to make them and I will do one of the I will make one of the creatures on my second channel eventually when I get time for it. Um, but I'm using the basics and then I end up doing my own thing so i'm just making an armature here that i think is right for the doll that i'm making or the little creature that i'm making have you ever heard of the movie turkey hollow because i never have and it, it's a 2015 thanksgiving movie by the jim henson company and before i made this creature i had never heard of this movie before what is a creature creation without tin foil so i'm taking a I think it's a like a 12 by 12 inch sheet here and I'm crumpling that up I'm trying to get that wire in the base of the head I end up eventually covering this with polymer clay but then I cut it open again you you will see later and then of course we need to cover the entire head because this is going to be the head with some masking tape uh, before we uh, put the polymer clay on and I'm using Super Scopey Original here. The stuff that I brushed on before is translucent Scopey just to make the glue stick to the base of the head a little bit better. Here's the little tongue and um, if you saw the intro and the little arrow pointing to whichever creature I was creating, that's the one that I'm creating in this video. It's a small pudgy fat looking one. I thought that was the cutest of all. And um, I'm just trying to get his face looking the right way here. I'm putting his little snout on and his eye sockets. His eyes are protruding protruding a little bit, but you will see how I fix that with the um, with the beads. And his head was too flat, so I'm adding a little bit extra to his head. And here are his eyes that I'm then covering with eyelids, the top and the bottom. Then of course there is a lot of blending involved even though I'm going to add the fur on onto his face with just a tool later. There is always a lot of smoothing out of the clay involved whatever you're sculpting. Here I'm adding the detail in his lips before I'm going to put his teeth in. And of course, the detail of all the fur that is going to be on his face. Here I am making the holes where his teeth are going to be. There they are. And then from toothpicks, I cut off the pointy bits, which I then dip in translucent Sculpey to make a kind of a glue and then stick them into all the little holes that I made before. This is really effective and I use the same technique for his fingernails later on. Speaking of fingernails, I am making his little hands and feet here. Then putting the pointy bits of the toothpicks in his hands here like I did with the teeth and we have a little claw. 
as I mentioned earlier, I made a hole in the base of his head and I covered that up with clay so I had to open it again. So I'm just putting that piece of armature in there with some hot glue and I'm putting the armature together with hot glue as well and then I'm going to going around the body with this floral wire and then secure that all with hot glue as well which is really really effective and sturdy then I'm gluing on the hands and the feet before I move on to building up the body with cotton balls and batting but before I'm going to build up the body I'm going to paint the eyes the face the mouth and the hands and the feet and then we'll do the body by the way, this was the first time I ever used these beads uh, since I ordered them and they were so easy to paint. They were matte and they are really, really easy to paint and easy to use for projects like this. And again, they are listed in the description box below. Here I am just painting the creature, the head, the mouth, the hands and feet. And I wanted to let you all know that I will be listing this creature in my shop at darkestravendesigns.com This is one of the first creatures that I will be uh, putting for sale so um, if I ever do this again I will of course let you know in the videos but uh, there we have it the first ever creature going online um, by the time this movie comes out this video comes out it's not a movie it's a video you will be able to find him in my shop darkestravendesigns.com The name of the musical monster that I'm creating here, his name is Burble. I always love painting the eyes because that gives the creature so much character and you will see when I'm done with that. It, um, it looks like a whole lot more than just a blob with hair. Painting the teeth white. This was for some weird reason very satisfying to do. Um, it's it's just such a big contrast between all the other colors. So there we have that. And then giving the lips a little bit more of a fleshy color. And then after this, I'm going to go over with a gloss over the eyes and the mouth to make that pop a little bit more and give it a little bit more of a sense of realism. Jim Henson and Jerry Jewell originally developed this as a TV special in 1968 titled The Musical Monsters of Turkey Hollow, but it remained unproduced. Now that is all dry, I'm going to build up the body with some cotton balls. First I'm going to unfurl them or unroll them so I have these little sheets of cotton and then I'm going to wrap it around the body and secure that with hot glue. And I'm going to continue doing that going around and around the body until I'm happy with what it looks like. A comic book adaptation, which follows the original outline more closely, was published by Akaya in 2014. It was because of the launch of Sesame Street that this movie remained on the shelf for that long. Here I am using batting that I cut up in strips, but you can also use floral tape. I'm applying hot glue wherever I need to stick it very tightly and then wrap it around like for the arms and the legs. I'm sorry I'm a little bit out of frame here but I'm basically just wrapping the batting around the arm and just keep going until I'm at the end and here are all the legs and arms done but I tried not to burn myself with the hot glue. Now I want to add a little bit more to attach another strand and then wrap it around the body until the entire body is covered with the batting. This is not the first time I'm using this technique. I've seen it done other times and I've done it myself with a fairy that I created a while ago, which was not my greatest creation ever. 
I did like the fairy portal though that I made back then, but yeah. The fairy, I still have her, but she is not one of my greatest creations. Anyway, the creature is completely covered now, and here I have one of the parts of that blanket. It was like double-sided, you could peel the sides from each other. And um, this side is big and fluffy, and I'm just gonna cut it to size and then glue it on top of his body. Before I glue it down, however, I'm going to see if it all fits and then cut it to size because um, it's a little bit long. And then I will glue it on with uh, the help of Fabri-Tac glue because that doesn't stick immediately. So you've got a little time to wiggle it around. And so that's this glue that I'm using right here. That's the Fabri-Tac glue. And then stick that down and then secure it a little bit more with the instant grip of the hot glue. If you haven't seen this movie yet, I will leave a link in the description box down below where you can actually watch it. Um, personally, I love the monsters and I love the concept. I'm just not sure if I'm such a big fan of the movie itself. I've got some smaller strips for the arms and legs and basically the same thing, but I'm just using hot glue for the arms and legs. There we go, there's one arm covered, and I'm going to do the same thing for the other limbs. Fast forward a little bit, I glued on another piece of that faux fur to his head, and then the front hairs I'm gluing forward so that it looks like it's glued on top of his head and it's part of his head. Now with the felting stuff, I'm adding some longer hairs to the front of his body because it's lighter and it's also a little bit longer hair as you could see in the, in the photo at the beginning of the video. And it's also some different colors. So that is what I'm doing here and just poking it in to his body because it's all batting and um, cotton wool anyway so it will grip nicely he also needs a tail so that is what I'm creating here just with a piece of armature wire I just poked a hole in his bottom and attached that with hot glue and then I'm going to do the same with the quilt batting wrap that around and then around that I'm adding some felting yarn and add tufts of the felting yarn here and there to make it look fluffy. I think it's time to have a look what this final creature looks like. And this is it for this video. It was really fun to create this little creature and even though Turkey Hollow itself is not the greatest movie, I do love the creatures created by Jim Henson. I hope this one finds a good new home soon. All my social media can be found in the description box below and if you're new here, welcome! Don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell notification button so you don't miss out on any future videos and, of course, become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe, have a good Thanksgiving if you're celebrating, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!